Hey, what's up everybody? BD Cool 213 here and welcome to my walkthrough for Bayonetta on Wii U. So let's get this started. In your wickedness, you have broken the ancient commandments and crafted a bond with one of the light. Our laws are clear. They demand you be eternally imprisoned. As for the impure child, she must be kept from the path of the dark arts forever. Alright, let's do this. So, uh, yeah, I'm playing the first Bayonetta because um, I want to get the, you know, I want to understand the story before I move on to Bayonetta 2, which is what I'm going to be playing once I beat this game. So, so yeah, that's why I'm playing this one first. Alright, start off a new game here. And we're going to be playing on normal. since erased from the records of time. There once existed two European clans who served as overseers of history for the powers that be. The Umbra Lucius, dwellers of the darkness, and the Lumen Sages, controllers of the light. The clans paid each other great respect, and their efforts to maintain the balance between them defended the just passage of time. Yet one day, that balance was toppled. The once harmonious clans fell into disagreement and stoked the flames of hatred against each other resulting in an era of strife. The conflict between the Umbra and the Lumen threw all of Europe into a chaotic loop of battle, ambush, assassination, and casualty. It was truly a gruesome war. Fight the tremendous radiance of God shining upon them, the Lumen sages were gradually weakened by the assault of the secretive Dark Witches. Years after the balance was lost, the war had ended in the Umbra Witch's favor. So, is this a sign of things to come here? Like, is this going to happen later on in the game, or... What's going on here? What the hell is that in the background? <laughs> Man. Seriously, what the hell is that? <laughs> wonder if we fight that thing or is it with us? I'm not even sure. Their victory was short-lived. 
Fearing the witch's dark abilities, humans began to condemn the remaining Umbra. They launched the witch hunts, rounding up the battle-weary witches with little resistance and subjugating those who wished to continue the struggle. Human faith in the miracles of their god pushed the witch hunts further, and soon the Umbra witches, keepers of the darkness, were extinguished from the earth. All but one. Alright, so before we get started with the uh, the prologue, the vestibule, uh, we're going to do a little costume change. Uh, I guess this is an exclusive feature for the, for the Wii U version. I'm not sure if you were able to do it in the PS3 or Xbox 360 version. Well, obviously the outfits are exclusive because, uh, well, they're mostly from Nintendo characters, so let's take a look here. Alright, let's change costumes, and here we go. So we got four, four costumes to choose from. I'm not sure if... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this version had the Star Fox one or if it's in Bayonetta 2. But uh, anyways, we got the Mushroom Kingdom Princess here. Sarasaland Princess, Daisy, Hero of Hyrule, and Galactic Bounty Hunter. So we're going to start off with the Mushroom Kingdom Princess outfit. And yep, play with this costume. Alright, so let's get started with the vestibule. It looks like Humpty Dumpty's taking his last fall. Even Oleg Man the Destroyer gets scrambled in the end, right? You know, I still don't get why the hell you drag me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Hell, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. 
And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good-hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> you can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of hungry, we done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Well then, adios. What the fuck? They're here? For this douchebag? This damn light! I can't see a thing! Oh! But they're there, ain't they? You hearing me? You you can see them, can't you? I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh my god! Dear Lord, grant us guidance and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity.
humanity. Man, <laughs> those close-ups in that outfit. This game's going to be kick-ass. All right, um, so yeah, here we have the touch controls, but I'm not going to be using the touch controls. I'm just going to be uh, using the face buttons. But uh, yeah, I am playing with the Wii U gamepad, so. All right, let's kick some angel ass. Or I guess we got a tutorial here. All right, let's just go through this real quick. I guess the next one is kick. Yeah, kick. Okay. Actually, let me try out the touch controls. Ah, okay. Alright. That's interesting. But I'll stick with the face buttons. Alright, evade. ZR. I was just about to press it. <laughs> right before I was interrupted there. Alright. What's next? A witch time. Dodge at the last possible instant to activate witch time. There we go. So yeah, basically puts everything in slow motion for yeah, like it says right there, for a set of, a set period of time. All right, now let's kick some ass, and we're off to a good start. <laughs> I got hit. All right, Halo, a very rare spiritual metal containing the essence of an angel's life force, used in business transactions within Inferno. So yeah, I guess since we're wearing the uh, Princess Peach outfit, um, it's going to be coins instead of actual halos. Oh god, I was in the middle of a combo there. Can he dodge in the air? Let me see. Oh, I, don't know, I guess I was in midair when he swung. And I better collect these coins, too. I haven't checked out the shop yet, so I'm not sure what kind of things you can buy in the shop. But just in case, I better start collecting these. Or I should be. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Punish! What the hell? I didn't even know that was going to happen. Oh, nice. Still got it. Wait, so I guess when they're on the ground, you can punish them? Let me see. Punish? No punish? Hmm. Gotta figure out how that works. Alright, let's get this guy here. Oh, and I have to hold R to lock on. I, I thought you just press it. Oh, actually, lock on right away. Didn't press anything that time. Shoot these little guys. Alright, so shoot, fire away mid combo by holding X or Ace. Wait, let me try with the touchpad. Hmm. Eh, either way it works. 
on the Bullet Climax. I guess you can't use the touch pad for this one. So you gotta rotate the left analog stick and press either A or X. Oops. And then I gotta rapidly press the button that I press, so in this case it will be X. And then I just move the left analog stick around. And that's how it works. Alright, let's use it here. Oh, nice, still got it. Wait, let me see, can I punish that guy now? Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, and I got hit. Damn it. Yeah, I'm trying not to take too much damage here so I can get a good rating. And I dodged too early there. Ugh. Gee, now I wonder what I'm gonna get. <laughs> Maybe a silver. Yeah, no planning for me. Alright, let's get these little bastards now. Oh, there's another enemy there. Another angel, I mean. All right, let's go after Enzo. Haven't you figured it out yet? There's no quarter for you in this world. So yeah, I guess Enzo can't see the angels for some reason. I'm not sure if they explain that. Or, I don't know. I mean, they are angels anyway, so, yeah. Right, let's get the main guy here. Let me try the this thing. Nope, maybe that might be a bad idea to do. Damn! Well, I want to activate witch time here. Oh, nice! There we go. Let's get this big guy. Wait, can I punish him when he when he's like that? Okay. Okay, I think I got the hang of it. Let me see. Let's see if I can get any one of these guys in that same state. This guy. No? I only triggered that punish sequence when the guy was on the ground, so let's see. Nah, yep, killed him. Silver. Yeah, I figured. Oh, Radon should be paying me for even touching these toys. You have any idea how much this is gonna cost to fix? How the fuck do I always get wrapped up in this shit? Hmm. Engine still purrs nicely. Now, about this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things and you want an intelligence briefing it never stops with you you keep belly aching like that and you're liable to wake eggman from the dead and i don't think either of you would like that ah! catch you later bayonetta something tells me you're gonna need a rush on our special project before this shit hits the fan wait rodan what about eggman such a popular chap I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. 
Binder up. You heard the man. Finish up in five minutes, or you're walking home to your cake and candles. What? Don't you leave me here! screwed in all this too of all the low-life scum in too deep in this town i've never seen one get wrapped up in a fight with god's messengers dressed like a nun too when you end up in the afterlife that's not going to be pretty i can't help it if i like the little outfits the toys are nice <laughs> Hey, hey, 20 years ago, you woke up stuck in a casket at the bottom of a lake. All you can remember is that you're a witch. But now, you're stuck because you gotta sacrifice our halo-wearing friends every day or they'll drag your ass back down to hell. I know, I thought I got screwed, but being forced to slap around the divine for a living? It's really getting screwed. If I needed a biographer, you wouldn't be my first choice. I see to the funeral. You get me the information I asked for. That was our deal. Ha 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 ha! Come on now! Look at my poor car! I'm working for free after this! At least let me get a drink at Rodan's before you start drilling me. The info I got is good. It's gonna get you close to finding the other stone in the pair and figuring out some of that lost past of yours. I swear. <laughs> After jewels instead of cash, just like a girl. <laughs> Jesus, can't you take a joke? Enzo, someone's given you a present. Hey. Too bad. I can't stand bugs. <sighs> huh? What the fuck? Alright, let's get him. So we gotta fill up our magic gauge here so we can do a torture attack. So we gotta do three of them, I guess, before the uh, the time limit runs out. Nice! 
Punishment lit up pretty good there. Alright, it's almost filled. Man, we got this guy. I just wanted to make sure I got all these coins here. There we go. Alright, that's one. Try to get somebody else with punish. Like this guy here? Maybe? No? Eh, we're still getting him pretty good, though. Oh, those coins! Damn it! Arcade bullet. Bullets used to play angel attack. Oh, yeah, some kind of mini game that occurs after, uh, after we beat this chapter. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I forgot to press A for that. Alright, one more. Wait, does the magic gauge fill up when when I dodge? I don't know, it looked like it did. Oh yeah, I think it does. I was gonna go for something. Oh, that guy was dizzy. Could have done punish. There we go. Nice. Got gold. Just like last time. Those assholes sure know how to get attention. Even perk the ears of the hotheads down home. You don't say. It's getting harder and harder to tell the worlds apart. Human world. Inferno. Paradiso. Who can tell the difference? Even harder with Purgatorio in the middle. Fight long enough in there and you'll really lose sight. Why the sudden interest in metaphysics? It's a balance, right? Even if some of them like messing around with the humans, we've all got a stake in the status quo. But people keep fucking around like this, the Book of Revelations is gonna look like Mother Goose. Heaven and Hell are gonna go straight for each other's throats. Heaven and hell can tear each other to pieces for all I care. I've got my own problems to worry about. Something's up. Everything was a bit too bracing. And Enzo's tip makes the timing too perfect. This reeks of a setup. Someone in one of those lost memories calling you out. I got a little present for you. These babies are special. Built from an alloy the devil himself would kill to get his hands on. Don't break these, because they're one of a kind.
calling me out. I don't go in for strange offers. Then again, I'm getting a little tired of these weaklings they keep throwing at me. Maybe I should aim for something a bit more high class. Pounding them down tonight, baby. Not to butt into your affairs, but I'm pretty sure you got somewhere better to be. The guys you're up against aren't the type to wait for you to finish around. Enzo, her drinks are going on your tab, buddy. <sighs> you did beat motherfucker. All right, we got the gold. I wonder if there's like a platinum award. You know, just like in the Wonderful 101. I messed up in the first part and got sober. All right, let's continue here. Got to do that little mini game, I think. Yeah, here we go. Angel attack. Let's see, I wonder if I could use the touchpad. Let's see. Oh, how to play angel attack. Okay, aim and fire at, on the angel targets to rack up a high score in this thrilling shooting game. For each arcade bullet in your possession, you may fire three times during a game. Hitting multiple angel targets or aiming and hitting vital points on the targets will earn you bonus points. If you set a high score on this machine, you will be handsomely rewarded. Alright, didn't do so good the first time, so let's see. Developed and distributed by your naughty friends at Platinum Games. Alright. Wait, oh, you can't! Doesn't work! <laughs> well, I mean, it works, but... Not as well as I'd hoped. There we go. Yeah, like, you can't move the cursor. I thought you could just point anywhere and shoot. Like, it'll shoot at that... At the direction that you pointed. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's see, I got 28 points. And I don't think it's enough for anything. Yeah, I guess you could get these lollipops, which power you up. Red Hot Shot. Magic Flute. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to exchange. I don't have enough points for anything. Two more points, and I would have been able to buy something, at least. Alright. Yeah, let's exchange it for Halos. Alright guys, that takes care of the prologue, the vestibule. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned where in the next video I'll go through Chapter 1, The Angel's Metropolis. Alright, thanks for watching everybody.